lawyer has to say about these latest developments. Lisa. Well, Stephen, Natasha, his attorney tells me they had hoped for some resolution by today, but that did not happen. It's been a roller coaster ride for dancehall music superstar Vibes Cartel. The murder conviction that has kept him behind bars for nearly 13 years was overturned in March, yet he is still not free, even though he's not charged with any crime. Now he will have to wait even longer to learn his fate. This week, attorney Isop Buchanan took his fight for Adesia Vibes Cartel Palmer's human rights to Jamaica's Court of Appeal. Even though the conviction was thrown out, the British Privy Council gave the Jamaican court the chance to decide on a retrial or outright acquittal, meaning there would be no further prosecution. Attorney Buchanan once again had to argue for his client's freedom before Justice Marvin McDonald Bishop, who kept the focus on constitutional issues. They um, did admit that there were breaches of the, Mr. Palmer's and his co-defendants' constitutional rights. They attempted to justify the breach, and we receive an additional date for next week, Tuesday. This means the nightmare of imprisonment in what Mr. Buchanan calls a brick oven is still not over for the physically ailing performer. None other than Britain's King Charles signed the order to overturn the conviction in March, but Cartel and his three co-accused remain incarcerated in harsh conditions. For Cartel, it's not just his freedom that's at stake, it's his very life that's on the line as he battles heart failure and Graves' disease. It's been an ordeal for his family, says his eldest son, whose dad has been incarcerated for more than half his life. Yes, it is very frightening, but the best thing we can do is just pray and be strong, you know? Attorney Buchanan says he anticipated the arguments by the prosecution and was encouraged by the judge's emphasis on the realities of any further delays in the matter and their unwanted consequences. The issue that's before the court the court did make it clear that it has never traversed this matter so intense and the, the, the nature of the investigation or the exercise that they're carrying out. So we're in new territory in terms of how we are treating with the idea of a, a retrial. Now, Attorney Buchanan says the decision could come next Tuesday about what the future holds for Cartel and his three co-defendants. He says that any questions about the seriousness of Cartel's health issues was put to rest by his doctor, Dr. Karen Phillips, who was emphatic about the risks he's now facing every day just to stay alive. Stephen Natasha. All right. Thanks.